Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we'll be going over in depth the champion Thresh. Thresh is the best support in the game in my opinion, period. His kit allows him to completely control every aspect of a match, and with some help from your teammates you can almost always ensure victory. In my opinion, early game is where Thresh shines, mid game is where Thresh shines, and late game is where Thresh shines. Here's an in depth guide on how to Thresh. First let's talk about some pros and cons. Some of the pros, he has a dominant laning phase. If you have a decent ADC to play alongside you, you will almost always win your lane. Secondly, he has incredible utility. It far surpasses any other champion in my opinion. He has relevant damage for support, which allows for great poke in the laning phase. He has probably the most insane playmaking ability and outplay potential of any champion, just due to his kit. And he also scales extremely well with cooldown reduction. Some cons, if you play ranked a lot, he's banned often, he's picked often, and he's also nerfed often. Um, early game, you can encounter some mana problems trying to spam your uh, death sentence. And uh, he's extremely hard to learn, and even harder to master. It requires patience and a vast amount of games to play to be become a fully e effective Thresh. First off, let's talk about his passive damnation. Unlike other champions, Thresh does not gain armor per level. Instead, Thresh collects souls of dead enemies by approaching them or placing his lantern near them. Each soul permanently grants .75 armor and ability power to Thresh. This passive allows Thresh to become extremely tanky late game and allows him to be a force in team fights. Now let's move on to Thresh's abilities. All of Thresh's abilities can be game changers and allow for crafty escapes or pursuits, depending on the situation. First off is his Q, Death Sentence. It's a cost of 80 mana and it has a range of 1100. After a 0.5 second windup, Thresh throws out his scythe, which damages and stuns the first enemy hit for 1.5 seconds. And if you land it, you can then reactivate it to dash to that enemy's location. This allows for easy initiation for team fights. Second is arguably the most strategic move that Thresh has, the Dark Passage. When activated, Thresh throws out his lantern to the target location where it remains for up to 6 seconds. If an ally right clicks the lantern, they will pick it up and will be pulled to Thresh's location. This allows for insane playmaking abilities. From saving teammates, allowing them to jump walls with you, or even quick ganks from your jungler coming through the river. This move is an instant game changer due to its ability to move your teammates, and not to mention the shield that it grants to nearby teammates. Third is Flay another game changer. I take this first due to its passive which deals bonus magic damage based on the amount of souls that Thresh has gathered throughout the match. It also scales good off of attack damage. This allows for great poke in the laning phase. Plays active can pull enemies in to ensure the kill or push them away to save your teammates. And with some good timing you can also negate some dash moves your enemies may try. This is Thresh's best ability to help him peel for his ADC. Lastly is the box. This ability can CC an entire team, enough said. A well-timed box can win you the game. Just watch and you can see what I mean. As far as a uh, Thresh build goes, I'll link you guys my favorite build from Solo Mid, as well as the masteries and rooms that I use in the description. Learning Thresh can allow you to completely dominate a game and lead your team to victory. His kit easily makes him the most team-oriented champ in my opinion. Good luck owning the bot lane out there guys. I'm Fame and I'm out.